What makes you such a good fighter? I am. Um, I don't know. I'm just curious about it. I'm curious about it. It's never. I mean, it's in my head 24/7. There's nothing else I can think. Of. I don't. I don't think about nothing else. If if. And that's it. I'm just curious. Curiously fascinated with it, and I can't stop thinking about it. Everything I do in my life is is related to this. I don't do nothing else if it's not got to do with fighting. You know what I mean? And that that, that is why. You know what I mean? To, to be true. That's so all, all, all you've got to do is show up. Is that not unhealthy? Um, I don't know. Do I look unhealthy? Take a look at this physique. I'm in phenomenal shape, in body and mind. To me, what's unhealthy is living an unhealthy life. To me, what's unhealthy is getting up and going through the same day, every day of your life, nine to five in an office or in a... You know what I mean? That, that's unhealthy. That beats your mind. I don't, I don't work. I, what do I, I love what I do. And that's why I'm doing what I love. You know what I mean? That's why, that's why it's become a career for me, because I love it. I love what I do. So, I don't think it's unhealthy. I. I I feel good in my mind. I mean, it's, it's, my, it's my life. I'm enjoying the fruits of my hard work. Nobody works harder than me inside the octagon, outside the octagon. I am a workhorse. So I'm going to enjoy the benefits of this life. I'm going to get myself a big mansion in Las Vegas. I'm going to get the soft top cars. I'm going to bring my whole team out. I'm going to spoil them and give them this life. Big steaks that size. We're eating every single night each. We're eating good. We're living good. It's, it's human nature. Some people will sit and take positivity from that. They will look at that and, and take inspiration and inspire. It will inspire them to go and push for that. Others will shell up and critique it and, and, and be negative towards it. But one thing is for sure, those people will stay where they are. The people who take inspiration from it will rise up and, and also one day experience that life. So this is, this is human nature. Some go one way, some go the other way. But I am, I am enjoying my money, my hard-earned money that I, that I have dedicated my life to. I was always getting pestered, what are you doing with your life, you're doing this, doing that. Um, they didn't know what it was, they didn't know what MMA was, they didn't know what none of this, they didn't know I could make a career out of it. As far as they were concerned, my man and dad talking about as far as they were concerned, I was just getting into a cage and fighting with some other guy. They didn't know nothing about it. No one did, really. But I knew, you know what I mean, I knew. But, uh, um, and then I, got a, I ended up getting a trade, just to keep them quiet. Because I used to get, have a lot, a lot of fights with me, dad. What trade did you get? I ended up getting a trade as a plumber. Um, literally up in the back of Arsenal, up in Wicklow, the Wicklow Mountains. And funny enough, that, that, that site was one of the biggest sites in Europe, Kiltiernan, was right at that skiing place. Huge, and now it's just abandoned. Now it's just deserted. So I used to go up there, six o'clock, five, five o'clock in the morning, I was on that M50. I used to have to walk to the N4, about half an hour from my house, wait for some limited guy that I didn't even know. He'd drive on the N4 and I had to flag him down. Nightmare, yeah, two hours down on the M50, two hours back, literally 14 hour days, and I was the, I was the first year, so I, was the, I had to go and do everything. I had to go to the shop, I had to go and get, this and get that. So I always had trouble with that and I was like, this isn't for me. This is not for me. How long then, did you last? Uh, I lasted 18, 18 months still. Well, it was tough. Uh, just, uh, it wasn't, wasn't the life for me. You know? and, then, and then John said, because I was training with John as well at the time, and then John got on touch and says, uh, I have a show, I'm on a show, I'd like to fight on it. And then that was it. I just packed it in, didn't show up. My dad used to come in and punch the head on me and, and like try and drag me out of bed. And I just wouldn't go. You know? I had an uproar for a good few years when I'm over, but, um, and that was it, I just pa packed it in quick and then focused on training. And that's, I, knew, I, knew, I knew what was going to happen, I knew I was going to get here. They didn't. There was a lot of stressful years, you know what I mean, a lot of tough times. Um, but I proved them wrong, I proved myself right. I, just, I cannot put one thing what I'm enjoying. I just love this life that I have created. I love this business. I do not... I, I enjoy work. I don't want to be anywhere else but here. So every day I, I, I am... I'm enjoying myself. I wake up every day, I pinch myself. I, you want to see the room I'm sleeping in, you want to see the bed I'm sleeping in, you want to see the home that I'm living in. There's an elevator in the home. So I'm on the third floor and I go out, click the button, and it goes from the third floor to the fourth floor. I open up the elevator and I go and eat some breakfast, and then we go stretch out in the sun, and we have a big pool, a jacuzzi. Look, I'm, I'm just enjoying the, the fruits of my hard work. Gratitude is one of the most strongest forms of, of, of power in attracting good things you know if you truly feel grateful for the things in your life i always felt grateful for even the small things i always used to celebrate the small things now i might be celebrating the bigger things but i always celebrate every little good thing that would happen to me in my life even before i had any kind of money or any of that i would celebrate and i would feel grateful for it and it just gave me more and this is exactly the same thing that's happening right now i still remain grateful and more comes if somebody said to you you'll have or you'll be as successful as you are now what would have you had said back then? <clears throat> I believe you. That's what I would have said. <laughs> because I did believe. Yeah, I believed in it. Part. 
I, I had very few people who told me that. I had a small, small, small group of people that would tell me something like that. Other than that, it was just me telling myself. Yep. So if someone came up to me and told me that all the way back then, I'd say you're damn right. I don't know how you do it. You, you seem immune to pressure. You got an entire nation on your shoulders and you rise above it once again. Yeah, I don't just knock them out. I picked around, John. Yeah, I said this. I'm sure you were probably all thinking in your head. This guy is talking absolute dribble. He's not going to do what he says he's going to do. You were probably all sitting there thinking that. But now here we are again. And I don't want to say I was going to do. I feed off this. I feed off this. I love this stuff. This is what gives me energy. Saying I'm going to do something. Saying, putting it out there for the world to see and then going out and doing it. There's no better feeling in the world than that. And it's as easy as that. Say what you're going to do and go and do it. When you're chasing your dream and when you're, when you're working hard, chasing something you love and, and, um, and completely dedicated, it just, it just happens. You, don't, you, don't, you can't really not, notice it, you know, even still to this day. I'm in, a, in an amazing position in, in my life, um, but I'm still, I'm still working like I'm not. I'm still working like I'm not in this position. Absolutely. I'm still working like none of this is even, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just something I love to do and I just keep pushing and keep working hard. I can't pinpoint an exact moment for you, but yep. if, if anything, I always felt like it was happening way back then. And, and now it is happening, but now I almost feel like it's not happening. You know what I mean? And I wanna, I wanna push to, to something else. Absolutely. I'm always striving to push forward. So. You know, hard work pays. I put in a hell of a lot of work all throughout this build-up in the fight. I pumped out more content than anybody, more content than Fox, more content than ESPN, more content than B uh, BT Sport, more content than everybody on the Mag Live on my own channels. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a workhorse from all angles, not just in the gym. But I'm building this media empire now myself, and we pumped out the content. I'm very proud of how it went. We consistently, daily movies I was releasing, you know, from, from like a month ago, every single day. You know what I mean? Nobody's doing that. So I'm very proud of it and, and I'm very, like, the work pays, hard work pays and we put, I put in the f***ing work and that's, that's why I'm, I'm sitting at the top. I, I put it all on the line, I show up, I perform and I get the results from that, so. When I was a kid I used to always visualise stadiums and, and like, even when I was playing football I'd kick the ball against the wall and I'd, I'd pretend that I scored a goal and I'd run off and I'd be raising my hand and visualising an arena full of fans and that, that was something I'd done as a kid out, out on my own. I, like, just running around kicking the ball. So I always had these visions of something, but I just didn't know what it was. And then I suppose when I came to this, uh, these events, and I started training them, and then came to an event, I was like, okay, this is it. This is, this is what I'm gonna do. Boy, I've been listening to laughter all my career. Yeah. I've been listening to them laugh my whole career. They've been laughing. What, an Irish man win a, win a cage warriors world title? Hell no. You serious, an Irish man? An Irish man win a fight in the UFC? Hell no, laugh. Laughs all around. An Irish, okay, you gotta win. Now he wants to win a world title? Hell no, he's all talk, he's all hype, he's a joke. Laughter all around at the Joker. Then the Joker goes and wins the world title. Now he wants to win a second world title. More laughter. Listen, I've been, I don't know, mate, the sound of laughter and the sound of doubt motivates me, so I'm, I'm enjoying that. I seek that. I don't feel no doubt or, or, or I don't feel no, I don't feel that going and fighting any of these other UFC bombs right now. They need to rise up. Right now, they're, they're down there. I've got this situation where people are truly doubting me, like they doubted me at the very, very beginning. And that's motivating for me. That's what's gonna drive me to the gym when I need to go to the gym.